What is up guys, Aqua Supreme back with another video and today's video I'm going to do something different to my previous videos that I did. I did more inform informative, I did more informative videos in my previous videos and I'm back to another, well this is also going to be informative but it's more vlogging type style and I like these videos, I don't like the others but I have to do it because you guys have to learn and yes blah blah blah. So. Anyway, going on from that, it is a better video, a better medicine saving type of video. A Siamese fighter, for those of you who do not know what a better is. But anyway, from there, I have this client and wait, I forgot about the intro. So, as I was saying, it is a client of mine's beta, and that beta has started to get some camphins. Camphins, yes, that is the sickness, the disease that has spread to that beta. And she was like, okay, I can't deal with this. I do not know what to do with the beta. And I did instruct her, but she was like, okay, yes, you can take it. I don't want anything to do with it. I don't like the sicknesses. It's just causing a lot of stress. And I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to really help out a better. Well, I might kill it, but I also might save it. So we'll see how this video goes. So I'm going to do a salt bath method today to help save our friend over here. Um, salt bath is used lots of times in the aquarium hobby it does help with a lot of diseases i'll put something on screen that will show you guys with all the diseases and infections and sicknesses that a salt bath could help with there are other medications specifically dedicated to um, all these sicknesses and diseases that i have put on the screen now early on so you don't have to do a salt bath and do know that it is a risk when salt bathing your fish, you could lose it, you could not lose it. It depends on the fish and its immune system. So just be wary when doing a salt bath, do it at your own risk. Know that you might lose your fish, but eight out of 10 times it does work. So hopefully it will work today for me and hopefully my better will be flaring it a Dumbo ear, Dumbo ear better. Yes, a Dumbo ear better. Fancy better. So I'll show you now. Here our friend is our Dumbo ear. As you can see, his not his dorsal fin, his tail. Um, there are some clamped fins. His tail isn't that half moon shape. Let's see if we can't have a better look from above. Focus. There we go. It's a very, very pretty better. So hopefully we can help this guy out. It is a male, for those of you who do not know. Females do not have these large tails, that big Dumbo fins, or those big Dumbo fins. They do not have that. As you can see, he has been somewhat making a bubble nest. So it means he is happy, in good shape. Just the fins problem. I do have him in some almond leaves, while well, I place some almond leaves in here just to help out our friend because almond leaves do have well the tannins that it release as i was saying the tannins that almond leaves release are antibacterial purposes for antibacterial purposes they do have those traits in them so that is why i place some almond leaves in there and it does lower the ph makes the fish feel more natural in a more natural environment makes them feel more comfortable so that is why if you have a fish most fish that have a bacterial infection and you do not have any medication lying around almond leaves or guava leaves any type of botanical will really do the job so place it in that tank it will help a lot until you get your medication or it might cure the bacterial infection you'll never know 
but it didn't work in my case. So that is why I'm trying this all off. So to start this off, you are going to need a few simple ingredients and that is going to be your betta fish, your aquarium salt, and a tablespoon. A bucket full of dechlorinated water or while well, a container whatever you prefer it has to be minimum three liters maximum or it does, there's no maximum or minimum really but you'll just need a container of dechlorinated water but what you are going to want to do from here is add in one tablespoon of aquarium salt per three liters of water this is about four liters four and a half liters that i have in there so i'll just do one and a half tablespoons. There we go. One, two. After that, you're going to want to mix your mixture while well, your cream salt into your water, dechlorinated water for about 10 minutes time until all the aquarium salt dissolves After your salt has dissolved, you are going to want to place your betta into the dissolved salt while the salt water. When doing this, try to match the water of your aquarium or container that you had your betta fish in to the salt water as a temperature difference will cause a temperature shock to the fish. So it is important to try and match the water. Once you have placed your betta fish into the aquarium salt, you are going to have to wait for about five to eight minutes, but I'll do six because five is the minimum and eight is the maximum. So I'm just going to do six, the sweet spot. And then after that, I'm going to place my betta back into this container after I've done a water change now in the container. As I mentioned, once your five minutes or whilst my six minutes have completed, I'm going to take out my betta and place it into this container I have it in. And just like that, you're done with your aquarium bath. Well, what am I saying? You're done with your salt bath. So that was as easy as that. You're just going to need some aquarium salt. Do you know that Epsom salt and aquarium salt have different purposes? I think Epsom salt is more used for swim bladder issues, constipation. I can't remember the rest, but that is more Epsom salt. I did put on the diseases and infections that you can use for aquarium salt. So do not mix the two up, use the right one, know the difference between aquarium and Epsom salt, but your local fish store will have some guidance on that if you are a bit confused between the two. But yes, that is it guys. I've done my salt bath, my betta is back into his container where he'll be living out the rest of his life. I'm kidding, I'll place him into a tank one day, but I do not want to mix any diseases or infections into my water that's why that is like his what's that what's that thing quarantine that is his quarantine container that i'll be keeping him in for the next coming two weeks i've had him for about a week's time now but less than a week's time so i'll keep him in there monitor his behavior and then hopefully our better fish will look much better i will show how he looks like later on but that is going to be it for the video 
I will do an update on him in a next video that is going to come. Not a next video, but one of the following videos that I'm going to do. So you will see the results of the aquarium salt method. Maybe I should wait before releasing this video. Yes, I'm going to wait until his behavior has changed to see if he has died or not. So I'm not going to be uploading this video today while well, tomorrow. I'll be uploading it about a week's time just to monitor my bit of fish before I release this video and my fish died and I'm giving you all this advice of killing your fish. You get what I mean? So the time has eventually come. It's been five days, about, yeah, five days time since I did the salt bath on my beta and I'm going to show you guys the progress that we have made, the results that we have gathered with the salt bath method. The only thing I've done in between these past five days is I did a water change yesterday. So that's basically all I did. I just took out 50%, 50% water change and I removed the Indian almond leaves because it did seem like they were doing better. And maybe I could have kept it better, better. <laughs> but maybe I could have kept it in there, but I just thought there's no need. And I'm going to eventually place them in a place where the pH isn't that low. So I just wanted to acclimate them properly until I place the bitter in a tank where the pH is going to be a bit higher than what it is inside of these small containers. So that is why I did that. But that is basically all I did. And as you guys can see in the video that I'm showing you guys now, it is much better. The bitter is doing amazing if I do so myself. myself. Um, I'm just keeping an eye. It does look like some of the fins looks like fin rocked happened, but maybe that happened a while ago and it's starting to heal now. I don't know, but I'll keep an eye on the beta just to make sure that everything is alright, everything is doing fine. And yes, that is going to be it. Salt bath method worked for me and I think it will work for you too. So try it out. And that is going to be it for me, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you like what you saw. If you did, please leave a like, drop a comment and subscribe. It does help a lot with the algorithm, the YouTube algorithm to boost my videos for more people to see it and subscribe and then we'll grow together. That's it for me, guys. Peace.